Hello guys, it's Blown Tire, otherwise known as Will, and today I'm bringing some Battle for 3. I'm bringing you some tips and tricks, so this is quite a unique sort of slant onto what I like doing. I don't usually do tips and tricks videos, I just sort of do some weapon reviews, do some standard gameplay analysis, throw some of my personal opinions out there, let you grab them with a grain of salt, grain of sand, whatever the saying is, who gives it a crap, and really, yeah, let's run with this. So the gameplay you are seeing is some capture the flag on the map KSR Railroad. I'm the part of the US team. We are defending the flag and defending is the main topic of this video. So really this video is going to be about my style of defense when defending a stationary control point within Battlefield 3. Obviously there are different tactics to different situations etc. Um, the more you can adapt your playstyle to different scenarios, the better Battlefield player you will be. So, remember that before you take this and have a go and say it doesn't work, you're probably not utilising it correctly because you're not knowing actually how to use it. So, right off the bat, I'm going to first of all explain what is aggressive defending. Aggressive defending is a type of playstyle which I like utilising. It involves, first of all, picking out a certain control point. That's the aspect of defending. If you didn't pick out a certain aspect, then obviously it's not really defending. The aggressive part is not just camping. It's actually utilising the fact that you can move and your actual strengths in your particular kit and class to help defend and also help you as a better player. So as you can see I'm utilising this building here. This is to provide me shelter but I'm not camping proverbially in here. What I'm doing is using it as cover to work out where some enemy threats are, enemy vehicles and spot them on the map for either my team who, which are advancing forward to try and get, our, get their flag back to our base or and if, or to prevent a wave, a main wave of attack. This is a basic strategy. It just involves utilizing what your map knowledge nearby and controlling that area. If you see an enemy relatively close, go after him. That's what I sometimes do. That's the aggressive part. You're not in one place constantly. You're moving about, trying to force the enemies away from your control point and you in particular if you did not do this it isn't called aggressive defending it's called passive defending or sometimes if you're just sitting in a standard stationary point well you're sort of um, I don't like using this phrase but you're going to be camping I really don't like using that phrase because you're not actually camping you're defending but yeah and get turned on bitch yeah so utilize your kit as I'm doing here, repairing, that can help provide a little bit more um, defense against the enemy front lines. And as you can see here, this is part of the aggressive, you're pushing up, preventing them from, if there was some C4 on the flag, from blowing that up with the grenades or a rocket launcher as he was a engineer. And as you can see, I'm trying to do this, if you can get, prevent the heli from causing some damage, yeah, there you go. That would be good, but I got killed, knifed in the back. Woohoo, funny. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys have learnt something useful. If you have, leave down in the comments below, that would be great. If you did, if you haven't, well, I'm sorry to hear that. So thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time out. On